Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online in Living Color from the Paper's Control Room in downtown Crawfordsville. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Friday, February 18, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by Workforce Plus. Whether you're looking for work or need workers, Workforce Plus can help. Call Workforce Plus at 364-9675. In our top story today, John Callis, 71, of Crawfordsville, received extensive leg injuries in a crash on US-231 at New Hope Christian Church on Thursday. That's according to Sheriff Mark Castile. Callis was driving a 2001 Ford Taurus northbound on 231. He crossed the center line, hitting the rear axle of a 2008 Kenworth semi-truck and trailer, which was driven southbound by John Fields, 57, of Jasonville. Callis was transported by Lifeline Medical Helicopter to St. Vincent Hospital in Indianapolis with extensive leg injuries. Thursday evening, he was listed in fair condition at St. Vincent. Fields was transported to Francescan St. Elizabeth of Crawfordsville Hospital with chest pains due to his seat belt. That's according to Sheriff Mark Castile. Diamond Deacon, Crawfordsville, holds an arm load of shakes that she bought for family and friends at Dairy Licious's opening day. Shakes were half off and the parking lot was filled with cars Thursday afternoon as temperatures rose to about 60 degrees. But look out folks, next week's temperatures are expected to top out at the upper 20s on Tuesday. We'll hear more about that from Paul Poteet in just a few moments. What might be the future of Crawfordsville's hospital? That was one of the questions discussed with County Commissioner Jim Fulwider during a recording of Frankly Speaking, which will go live Monday as a webcast at the paper 24-7.com. On Thursday, Fulwider said various county leaders plan to meet on February 22nd with officials from Francescan St. Elizabeth Crawfordsville Hospital to discuss the future of that hospital. Officials have announced that the OB department in Crawfordsville's hospital will be closed on March 1st, which means babies will no longer be delivered to the hospital except on an emergency basis. Paper Trivia, it's your chance to win prizes by showing off how much you know. If you think you have all the answers right now, especially about the Wizard of Oz, just click on this tile on our homepage and go to the Paper Trivia section, answer the question correctly, and you could win. Our condolences are extended to the families of Marlene Chastain, who passed away Wednesday. Mrs. Chastain's husband, Richard Chastain, is president of the Montgomery County Council. Improvements to the courthouse heating and air conditioning system would save taxpayers $13,000 plus an anticipated $7,000 in savings on repairs. County commissioners were told this at a meeting this week. Changes to the lighting in the building could save an additional $5,000 per year. That amount does not include rebates from Indiana Municipal Power Agency. Councilwoman Heather Perkins said at Monday's City Council meeting, quote, we've gotten to the point where we find a grant and then spend it rather than find a project and decide how to fund it. It's a huge waste of resources for us to do this. Frank Phillips' guest this week on Frankly Speaking is Crawfordsville Street Commissioner Scott Hessler. Frankly Speaking can be found under webcast on the top navigation bar of our website. Paper News 24-7 was brought to you in part by Workforce Plus. Whether you're looking for work or need workers, Workforce Plus can help. You can call them at 364-9675. Local weather with Paul Poteet in Studio B and local sports with Candace Rorman are both up next. Paper News 24-7. Paper News 24-7. I'm Stu Clampett. I'm meteorologist Paul Poteet. I'm Candace Rorman. Please stay classic all day. It is Friday and it is a little cooler out there today and it's going to get a little bit cooler this weekend. Well, the wind is not as strong today as it was yesterday with some pretty strong and steady gusts. But uh, an area of low pressure is dragging a cold front down to the south. That will usher in some quieter weather for Saturday. And this update on Friday's forecast is sponsored by our friends at Gould Body and Paints. They are at 607 Wayne Town Road in Crawfordsville, Gould Body and Paint. That's the place with Diana and Don. you got to give them a call. Uh, Diana and Don's phone number, 364 
1067. That's 364 1067. Gould Body and Paint, where their business is a wreck. So is my hair out there in that wind yesterday. It'll settle down a little bit today. I think we'll still have some breezes at times up to about 20 miles an hour. Uh, let's take a look, first of all, at a couple of uh, weather maps just to give you an idea of uh, where we stand with the overall pattern. Uh, the, the cold front is moving down to the south of us as we work our way through uh, Friday. So there will be a chance of showers in the morning, and then that chance will diminish. Now, the map for Saturday does show high pressure kind of in control for a day. So Sunday, Saturday should be a partly to mostly sunny day. You'll notice back to the southwest, though, that cold front starts to come back up as a warm front, and that eventually will get a little closer to us and probably bring us some precipitation on Sunday. Maybe as early as late Saturday night going into Sunday, we have at least a chance of seeing some showers around. And that looks like mainly it's going to be a rain thing, too, on Sunday. So we'll break down the forecast for you overall, and today maybe a few showers in the morning on Friday. Otherwise, the forecast trend will be decreasing cloudiness in the afternoon, and then mostly clear weather for tonight. Crawfordsville, the temperatures much of the day today are going to be in the mid-50s. And we expect an overnight low tonight, maybe down to about 30 in Montgomery County. And otherwise, most of the weekend is going to be above freezing. The high on Saturday, as a matter of fact, should make it up to right around 50 degrees. Not bad at all. It's still about almost 10 degrees above average. So about 50 on Saturday. On Sunday, I think it'll also be mild with highs around 50 degrees. But there could be a chance of seeing some rain showers anytime after midnight Saturday night going into Sunday. At this moment, it doesn't look like a huge chance, but that chance will be with us Sunday night. There could be some mixed precipitation in some parts of northern India, and I think it'll stay probably rain around here, though. So a rain chance through Monday. Monday's high starts to cool down only in the mid-30s, and then maybe some mixed precipitation as it's uh, ending Monday night going into Tuesday with colder weather than I hope you have a great weekend. That's the forecast from Paper News 24-7 here in Studio B. I'm meteorologist Paul Poteet. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we don't offer washers, paint, or lumber. Floor covering is our expertise for your home or office. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we offer luxurious styles of carpeting and realistic-looking vinyl patterns, and we do it better than anyone else. You'll fall in love with the possibilities at Zahn's all backed by professional installation, superior personal service, and our three-year installation warranty. Stop by Zons today and see why we want to be everywhere you are. I'm Tina Storm with your local sports for Friday. The prelims for the 2011 Boys Sectional Swimming Meet proved one thing on Thursday night. It is a three-team race between Crawfordsville, Greencastle, and Southmont. Crawfordsville took the top spot in eight events, but South got the most swimmers through. Finals are on Saturday at 1 p.m. All three County Boys basketball teams take the court tonight. South will host Greencastle, Crawfordsville will head to Danville, and North will host Tri-West. It will also be North Montgomery's senior night. All three games start at 7.30. Don't forget to follow Montgomery County Sports at The Paper Sports on Twitter. That's your local news for Friday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of the paper in Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Candace Shortman. You stay classy, Crawfordsville.